Hello and welcome to Counterpoint of Sale. If you're watching this video, you're likely new to the functionality of Counter's Point of Sale or just need a refresher. Either way, let's dive right in. When you open up the Counter app, you'll see the options to log into the back office. Here's where you can make changes to your Counter account, view reports, order stock or manage your staff. We'll go into more details in a separate video later. We can also go straight to the point of sale from here too. If you have not yet created your account with Counter, you might want to do that first. When the point of sale opens, it will ask you to log in, choose your user and enter your PIN if prompted. When the point of sale opens, you will notice that the menu you created in the back office has been loaded. There are three basic sections on this screen. Your categories are on the left. The main section in the middle is where your products are displayed in each category. We can also easily search for a product, even if it isn't in a category yet, using the search bar at the top. And on the right hand side is the order summary, where your order will be displayed until it is sent to be made or paid for. From our sample coffee menu that we have on screen, we can see a few different types of products. Our piccolo latte is a standard product. As soon as it is selected, it will be added to the order summary. Our flat white comes in two different sizes. We call these variants, and these variants will pop up for selection when we choose our flat white. Today, let's go for a large flat white. Finally, we have modifiers. Soy milk is one. We can quickly add notes or modifications to a product using these. We have also grouped sets of modifiers to our coffee menu in option sets. We can have these auto prompting for required questions that our staff need to answer, such as steak temperature or how you want your eggs cooked, or we can also group products together to make a combo deal using option sets. From our order settings cogwheel in the bottom right, we can add surcharges, discounts, tips, open the cash drawer, print a customer receipt, or delete a sale, all depending on your permissions. Along the top of the screen, we have the shortcut to our tables layout for our tables add-on. The orders tab shows us all our open and unpaid orders, and the history tab shows us our paid sales. It is also where we can go to refund a sale. Under these buttons, we also have a field to add a customer name if you're tracking customer loyalty. We also have our order notes. Here we can add a name for a takeaway order or a table number. This note will appear at the top of each production docket to make it easy to find. We also have the send button. Send the orders to the kitchen, baristas or other production areas and save it in the orders tab so it can be paid later. Finally, at the bottom of the screen is our lightning fast cash checkout and our checkout menu where we can pay for an order to either cash, card or any other payment type you have created. If you have any questions, simply select help in the bottom left of any screen encounter to find our support guides and our 24 hour support team. Thanks for watching Pos Basics with Counterpoint of Sale. Stay tuned for our next video.